Good afternoon and welcome to Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska for noonday prayers on this Friday. For God make speed to save us, for the Lord make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us read Psalm 107, part one, by alternating verses. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those who come to our as that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in the desert wastes, that they found a way to a city where they might dwell. They were hungry and thirsty, their spirits languished within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He put their feet on a straight path to go to a city where they might dwell. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy, and his wonders he does for his children. For he satisfies the thirsty, and he fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and deep gloom, some vast as misery and hunger. Because they rebelled against the words of God and despised his counsel of the Most High. So they humbled their spirits with hard labor. They stumbled, and their hearts were to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them out of darkness and deep gloom. He broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. For he shatters the doors of bronze and breaks into the iron bars. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They were all manner of food and they moved near to death's door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his words to heal them and save them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and tell his acts with shouts of joy. Some went down to the sea in ships and plied their trade in deep water. They beheld the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Then he spoke 
A stormy wind rose, and which tossed high the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens and fell back to the depths. Their, their hearts melted because of their terror. They reeled and they staggered like drunkards and were in their wet's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper and quieted the waves of the sea. Then they laughed because of the calm, and he brought them to the harbor of the land of Lord. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the peoples and praise him in the council of the elders. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the seventh chapter of Acts. But as the time drew near for the fulfillment of the promise that God had made to Abraham, our people in Egypt increased and multiplied until another king who had not known Joseph ruled over Egypt. He dealt craftily with our race and forced our ancestors to abandon their infants so that they would die. At this time, Moses was born. He was, a be he was beautiful before God. For three months, he was brought up in his father's house. Then when he was abandoned, Pharaoh's daughter adopted him and brought him up as her own son. So Moses was instructed in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was powerful in his words and his deeds. When he was 40 years old, it came to his heart to visit his relatives, the Israelites. When he saw one of them being wrong, he defended the oppressed man and avenged him by striking down the Egyptian. He supposed that his kinfolk would understand that God through him was rescuing them, but they did not understand. The next day, he came to some of them as they were quarreling and tried to reconcile them, saying, Men, you are brothers. Why do you wrong each other? But the man who was wronged wronging his neighbor, pushed Moses aside and said, Who made you a ruler and a judge over us? Do you want to kill me as you killed the Egyptian yesterday? When he heard this, Moses fled and became a resident alien in the land of Midian. There he became the father of two sons. Here with the spirit, is saying to God's people, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Father who art Lord, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. God of grace and mercy, give your blessing to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, and strengthen our elders and leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessing to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment a spirit of knowledge and of love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. 
Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all that we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, need, give them the touch of your healing hand. And any, if any, are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Almighty God, who sitteth in the throne of judging right, we humbly beseech thee to bless the courts of justice and the magistrates in all this land, and give unto them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, that they may discern the truth and impartially administer the law of the fear of thee alone. Through him who shall become our judge, thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I invite your intercessions and prayers now. First and foremost, the Holy Spirit is the person. Pray for all those in recovery, in the meetings, and the opening here in Juno, that they be safe and protected with the people. Pray for those who are members of our parish and another group facility, for those who do services. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Today the church remembers James, James Wendleton Johnson, a poet of the early 20th, 20th century. Eternal God, you gave, you gave your servant James Wendleton Johnson a heart and a voice to praise your name in verse, as he gave us powerful words to glorify you, may we also speak with joy and boldness to banish hatred from your creation. In the name of Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May God's love be the love that surrounds us today. May God's peace be the peace that we share on our way. May God's grace be the grace that our actions display. May God's truth be the truth in the words that we say. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Christ our Savior give us peace. Amen.